Jason Momoa's relationship with wife Lisa Bonnet ended after almost 16 years together. Many people believe that this might have something to do with his Aquaman co-star Amber Heard, but how true is that? Do you want to know? Well then, you're at the right place, as today we're going to tell you how Jason Momoa ruined his dream relationship. Jason's love for Lisa Bonnet started when he was not even an adult. During an interview with James Corden, Jason revealed that ever since he was like 8 years old and he saw Lisa on TV, he was like, mommy, I want that one. He said that he was like, I'm going to stalk you for the rest of my life and I'm going to get you. He further said that he had always wanted to meet her and that she was a queen, always. So it won't be wrong to say that Lisa was his dream partner and he was one of those few lucky ones who managed to get their childhood crush. Jason met Lisa first in 2005 at a jazz club in New York City where the two were hanging out with their mutual friends. Talking about this magical moment, Jason said that they just happened to be in the right place at the right time. He said that he actually had dreaded his hair for her. He said that he had dreadlocks, she had dreadlocks, and he literally turned around and he saw her and she goes, I'm Lisa. According to Jason, he had a freaking fireworks going off inside of him at that moment. Lisa also talked about the moment and said that at that moment, love came in and came big and he did not run as she thinks a lot of men do. She said that he basically picked her up and threw her over his shoulder, caveman style. As the relationship between the two started getting serious, Jason also started to get close to Lisa's daughter with her ex-husband Lenny Kravitz, the Batman star Zoe Kravitz. Zoe was a teenager at the time, and Lisa started dating Jason then, and soon she grew fond of him. According to Jason, he calls Zoe Zozo Bear, and she calls him Papa Bear. Two years after their first meetup, the couple welcomed their daughter, Lola, into the world in 2007. A year later, in 2008, their son, Nikoa Wolf, was born. Jason has his children's names tattooed over his heart. While the two were living a dreamy life, they also started working together. In 2014, Jason himself wrote, produced, and directed a film called Road to Paloma, in which he also starred alongside Lisa and the two played romantic interests in the film. Jason's role as Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones was a very big turning point in his career. But unfortunately, after his character was written off the show, he started struggling to get a new role. It was getting difficult for him to manage his expenses while waiting for something big to come along his way. After Game of Thrones, he said he could not get work and that it becomes more challenging when you have babies and you're completely in debt. Jason and Lisa then tied the knot in 2017 in a private ceremony that only their close relatives and friends attended. Everything seemed to be going fine, and Lisa even was all praises for Jason during an interview in 2018. She said that what was cool about Jason was that he was an alpha male who stands for love and family, and to circle back to my own wounds, having an absent father, then to be fully met by a man of that stature is really incredible. She further added that Jason embodies a rare form of masculinity in his day and age. He's a leader. He's generous. She said that just in terms of charisma, physique, and the right use of power, responsibility, work ethic, you can go down the line. Jason Momoa then got the lead role in DC's Aquaman, in which he starred opposite Amber Heard. Jason even said in an interview that he and Amber are actually the same people, and the only difference between them is their gender. Fans still believe that Amber Heard who already had a bad reputation because of her messy divorce with Johnny Depp, ruined Jason's relationship on purpose, but this has never been confirmed. The two announced their divorce and issued a statement that said, We share this not because we think it's newsworthy, but so that as we go about our lives, we may do so with dignity and honesty. The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived. We free each other to be who we are learning to become our devotion unwavering to this sacred life and our children. Click on one of the four videos on your screen right now and we'll catch you guys in the next one.